Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from a spectacular classic apartment on Fifth Avenue. This four bedroom has impressive park views and an undeniable romantic charm. Now HGTV design stars Kathy Hobbs shows us how to stage your home for the sell while still working in your own taste. She'll give you the tips you need to give your home an edge over the competition. Hi, I'm Kathy Hobbs, an interior designer and professional home stager. And what I do is stage and style properties so they sell for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. Today I'm going to show you around this gorgeous four-level penthouse located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan and teach you a technique that I call lifestyle selling in order to help sell your home. The reality is when it comes time to sell your home, it's going to be more difficult if it isn't staged. Lifestyle selling and home staging combined create a powerful marketing tool that definitely gives sellers an edge above the competition. In this sprawling residence, this living room is really the money room. It has wraparound terraces and floor to ceiling windows, but it can still be a bit confusing for potential buyers. I decided to place a sectional sofa in front of the windows and then an armless backless sofa so you could still see the rest of the space so that people know exactly how spacious this room is and that it could easily seat eight to 10 people. Remember, when you're designing or staging your space, you're gonna to wanna to use an area rug to help define a space. I either choose them first in order to provide me with color and design inspiration or last in order to tie everything together. In a home this large, I wanted it to be clear that a potential buyer could host great dinner parties. Actually taking the extra effort to set the table goes a long way and speaks to a luxury lifestyle. I layered the decor by adding a placemat, a plate charger, a salad plate, a bowl, and a simple napkin. Also, creative use of centerpieces, such as these glass vessels filled with porcelain and wood balls. It's important when you're mixing materials, especially porcelain and glass, to also add a touch of texture. Remember, the kitchen is really the heart of the house and so important to potential buyers. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you really have all of your items, especially most of your appliances, hidden away in cabinets so the potential buyers can really see how spacious and beautiful the kitchen is. I really wanted the master bedroom to feel like a master suite and retreat, but this oddly shaped room could have been a real head scratcher for potential buyers. So I wanted to make sure that I defined the space by clearly distinct zones. I have one zone that's defined by the bed where it's clear that you can rest, sleep, and relax. Another zone defined by two chairs and a simple table where you could perhaps read. And a third zone defined by a sofa and two small tables that's more of a lounge area where you can really unwind. Remember, when it comes to oddly shaped spaces, don't be afraid, embrace it. It's often that you can use it as inspiration to help define your space. I actually brought color into this master bedroom without painting a single wall. I brought in bursts of rich color through all of the artwork and accessories. This room could have easily been a bedroom or even a bonus room. Either way, it would have been confusing to potential buyers. So when it came to staging and styling it, I wanted to make sure that I clearly defined function. I decided to stage it as a family room, a space for television viewing, not only for family and friends, but guests as well. Because this is a theater room for the whole family, I wanted it to feel really gender neutral. So I mixed colors such as rich chocolate with gold and then added some touches of ivory so that it doesn't feel too masculine or too feminine. Remember, when it comes time to sell your home, it's no longer your home, but a product on the market for sale that will be compared to other products. As a seller, you'll have a clear advantage if potential buyers can see how a space can be used and how it can function. This is where home staging and lifestyle selling come into play.